Hello, my name is Emery Duffy. I'm a product success architect with ServiceNow. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Tanium Service Graph Connector and how to configure it. So the agenda for today is I'm going to be talking about what Tanium is, what the Service Graph Connector for Tanium is, I'm going to be giving a demo on how to configure it and I'll be wrapping up with a summary. So what is Tanium? Tanium is an endpoint management platform that is used for monitoring an enterprise's endpoints on a real-time basis. It can either be um, a cloud-based version of the Tanium platform or a non-prem version of the Tanium platform. Today I'm going to be talking about how to connect to the cloud-based version of the Tanium platform. It captures hardware type information about an enterprise's endpoints along with what software is installed in these endpoints. So what is a service graph connect for Tanium? It's a service now ingesting tool that integrates the asset module of the Tanium platform. For every endpoint that has been tracked as an asset in the Tanium platform, it ingests the hardware and software data associated with the endpoint from Tanium and populates the CMDB with this data in your ServiceNow instance on a scheduled basis. So now on to the demo. So now I'm in my Washington ServiceNow instance and I've already installed Tanium. It's actually the latest version, which is the 1.6 version of the Tanium service graph connector. So I'm just, I want to go into guided setup. So what I do is I type in Tanium in my filter menu and I can see it brings up my, uh, di the different options for the service graph connector. So I'm going to go into setup to bring up guided setup. So I now am guided setup. So you just click on continue. And the first section here is configure the connection and credentials section. So I'm just going to click and continue here in that step. And the first step here is set authentication type. So I click and configure. And what the form that comes up here is um, just allowing you to set the authentication type system property. Um, so I, there's two choices here, it's either basic or, tent or token. Um, with the uh, cloud-based version of the Tanium platform, you can only use token-based authentication. For the on-prem version of the Tanium platform, you can either use basic or token, where basic is just a use, standard username and password. So I've already filled this in as token, so I don't need to do that again. So let's go back out to my guided setup. Um, just click and continue. The next step then is on the token auth credentials. So I'll just click and configure for that. And what you see here is just, it, you have to provide the Tanium API key. Now I've already created that on the Tanium side. It's my, um, the API key, that's what's used for authentication. So all you do is paste this into this field here and click on update to save it. I've already done that, so I don't need to do that again and um, just go back out to um, the, the next part to guide is set up, uh, which is to configure the connection. So I just click and configure the connection uh, to bring up the connection screen. And all you need to do provide here is the uh, host name, right? So this is the host name for my um, cloud-based Tanium instance. I use my URL builder, click on this, and then it creates my connection URL here for where it includes the HTTPS uh, section of it. And you click on update. So I'll go back out to um, guided setup. And, I, you, and as you go through this, you just mark the step as complete. I've already done this, so I don't need to do that. But for, for, the, for the first time install you, uh, our, our setup, you just mark as complete. The next step then is <coughs> configure the view. So uh, on the Tanium side, you'll have already created a view um, there's a service now reserve view that you need to create um, the, for the very first time that there's a, it shows the steps here on how to do this. And then from that service now reserve view, you create a copy and you add these fields that are shown here and save the view, the, your, the, the new view you're creating. Now you can also add filters to that view if you decide you, want to, you don't want to bring in all the data and you can filter in things like computer name, for example. Um, and then uh, just moving, so basically if I click on configure view, It'll bring up all the views that are already created in Tanium. So I created a, a Crucible Lab view. So you just click on Set View, and that 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 
the view configuration is now done. So go back out. And now this this step here, ADM setup, this is for um it's a it's an application scheduled import job that's not active out of the box. Is what it does is it it brings TCP and process information for your endpoints into this your ServiceNow instance, but that's currently under review by the development team, so it, it'll be uh, supported in a future release, but it's not supporting this current 1.6 release, so you can skip over that. The next thing then is uh, test the connection. So you just click on configure, that'll test the connection to make sure you get a success um, return code, which I see I'm getting here, so that's all good. If there was a problem, you should see a failure. Um, and then the lastly then, you just go into configure the scheduled imports. And what happens, what, what you see here are all the jobs that were installed with your service, this Titanium Service Graph Connector. The parent job is this hardware and software job that runs period, periodically on a, um, the default out of the box is a daily basis. And you just, I've already done this, but you need to change from, from false to true to, to enable it. Um, you see there's a Titanium Usage job that runs on a monthly basis. Um, you need to change that from false to true as well. And you can pick the day of the month that you want, you want it to run. This is the applications job I was talking about that is not active out of the box, so that's false. And then lastly, there's this remove software job that runs after the hardened software job and that um, removes um, you know, any, any old CIs that weren't in the, the latest um, pull. Um, this is new to 1.6. Uh, this remove software functionality was a postscript that was run, that was run after the hardened software job for the 1.5 version. So this is an enhancement for 1.6. Now to check that you, um, so I can just go in and let's say just what, to verify that you've installed it correctly, you just open up this hardware and software job and click on execute now. All right. So that'll kick off the job and then you just go to configure, con sorry I should say concurrent import tests just to confirm that the job is running. And I can see here that the job is running and that that's that's good that tells me that this this has been set up correctly now one last thing i want to call out is in the in the setup the guide is set up which is important um right so this this is you set this so you want to just go through these steps to test out your connection to test out that you can connect to attain correctly but i do want to call out this add multiple instances section this is um if you want to, you know, if there's a second Tanium instance you need to connect to, you basically go through, I won't go through all these now, but you go through all these steps to add either a new basic authentication connection or a new token auth um, authentication connection with all these other, they, they, they generate data sources and schedule imports. Um, it allows you to go and select the view associated with that again that you may have created in that other instance. Um, in fact, this is, recommended even if you just have one Tanium instance that you're connecting to. Uh, it's it's future proofs um, against any, um, you know, when you're doing an upgrade, uh, it makes things a little easier. Uh, what happens is your, your Tanium instance, you do the schedule jobs, it, it's, it's, um, it, it includes a prefix in it that allows you to easily distinguish your one connection, Tanium connection from another Tanium connection. So that is called out in a white paper that I'd be referring to um, you know, it's on the very last page of, of references. So um, that is everything that I wanted to cover for the demo side of it. Uh, then we just move back to the summary. Thank you. So we reviewed what Tanium is. We reviewed what the Tanium Service Graph Connector is, and we demonstrated how to configure the Tanium Service Graph Connector. Lastly, just to call out, I mentioned this briefly, um, for more information, you can go to these links the ServiceNow product documentation page and the Tanium Service Graph Connector white paper in the ServiceNow community. Um, you'll find this, how do I configure the Tanium Service Graph Connector, connector um, white paper. That will give you more details on how to set everything up. Thank you.